If you don't know your own self-worth, you're going to end up selling yourself shorts and you don't want to do that. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hey what's up? My name's Shelly and today we're going to be talking about knowing your self-worth. Knowing what you're worth, girl. This is like super fucking important because if you don't know your own self-worth, you're going to end up selling yourself shorts. But before I get started, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below so that you can be notified of when I post new videos. Because girl, we've got an awesome little community here and you should definitely be a part of that. So go ahead and do that and I will wait. Two hours later. Are we good? All right, cool, let's get started. One of my biggest pet peeves of life, you guys, is hearing another woman talk down about herself. Like, oh my God, I'm so ugly. Oh my God, I'm so fat. Oh my God, if only I looked like her or her or whatever. And it's like, girl, what are you doing? You're like dropping your value, you're devaluing yourself. It's like going to a dealership and being like, this car is a piece of crap. You don't want this car. It doesn't run. The AC doesn't work. It makes loud noises. The brakes are kind of iffy. Like, baby girl, what is you doing? So, um, please just don't fucking do that. Just don't do it, okay? Don't talk down about yourself, first of all, because that just shows that you don't know your own self-worth. And that's like a huge indicator and a huge red flag. Like, if you don't know how great you are, how is anyone else going to know how great you are? You know what I mean? So, just don't do it. Girl, you are Chanel. So stop treating yourself like you're great value, okay? Because here's the thing, you guys. If you don't know your worth, claim it and live it, others will choose your worth for you. So you need to let these bitches know. Let them know today who you are, what you're about, and what you know your worth is. What you bring to the table, if you get what I'm saying. Knowing your worth will change your life. It is so freaking powerful, you guys, because once you know what you're worth, you know what you will and will not tolerate. What you will and will not put up with. There was a bug, and now it's not, so. Because I don't tolerate that. I know my worth. Just in case you haven't heard it today, you are beautiful, you are smart, you are kind, you are a good person, you are important, you are worthy of respect and love, and you are the only you there is, so that's your fucking power, girl. That is what you bring to the table. You bring something absolutely, completely unique to the table, something that nobody else has. Keep that in mind when you're defining what your self-worth is. Knowing your worth means never having to settle, and that means in every single aspect of your life, you guys. I'm talking relationships, friendships, career, everything, okay? If you believe that you're settling in your career and you deserve more, then go for it. If you believe that you deserve more pay for what you do, then ask for it. Show them your worth, show them your value, and demand that they meet your needs. Be prepared to walk away, okay? If they're not gonna pay you what you deserve, if they're not gonna give you what you deserve and what you've worked for and you earned and you know is rightfully yours, you need to be willing to walk away from them. Because here's the thing, if you don't, they will walk all over you. And that is literally what minimum wage means. It means if I could legally pay you less, I would. That is what that means. And that is so freaking disrespectful. So if you know that you're worth more than what you're getting, you need to demand it. You need to ask for it. Show them your worth and your value. Let them know that you will walk and be prepared to walk away. Okay? Don't be settling for less. Don't spend your freaking life 40 hours a week, which is a lot, slaving for someone who does not understand what your worth is and is not willing to meet you where you need to be met. Stand up for yourself, okay? That's, that's what I'm saying. And don't even get me started on dating because I swear I can go on for days on this subject, you guys. I am so sick and tired of seeing these amazing, beautiful, intelligent, loving women go for these absolute total douchebag losers. And I'm just like, what? I just don't freaking get it. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you be with someone who doesn't respect you, with someone who cheats on you, with someone who has no goals, no ambitions? Like, you need to find someone 
who's at your level, you know what I mean? But if you believe that your level's down here because you don't know your worth, then you're gonna find somebody who's down here. And while the rest of the world might see it, you're not gonna see it because you don't know what your worth is. You don't value yourself. And until you do, you're never gonna find the perfect companion for yourself because he's out there looking for someone who knows their worth too. You know what I mean? Also, like a little bit off topic, but how can you date someone who doesn't treat you like an absolute fucking queen, which is what you are, so. How? How can you be with someone who doesn't like shower you with love and I'm not someone who's really big on looks like that's not what's important looks fade and I'm not someone who's really big on money so I'm not saying you know find someone who's a millionaire or who's um, a fucking model that's not what I'm saying you know that's that's shallow shits. I'm talking about someone who showers you with love, someone who pays attention to you, someone who loves you and dotes on you and cares about you, someone who's gonna be there for you when you're at your darkest moments. That is what you should be looking for. Someone who deeply, genuinely cares about you and treats you like they genuinely care about you. Because a fuckboy can tell you all day, every day that he loves you and how beautiful you are, but if he's not showing you that, you know, actions speak louder than words, so really pay attention to what people are doing. And I think I know what the problem is with relationships, and this is a little bit off topic, but we're just gonna go with it because it's important. Is some guys will pull out all the stops when you're first dating to get with you, to reel you in, and then as soon as they got you, boom, everything's done, the romance is gone, the love is gone, the sweetness is gone, it's like, what happened? You know, the girl's like, what? Like, he was so sweet, maybe he'll change and we'll go back to it. No, that's just who he really is. I think putting up a front can be very tiring and you can only do it for so long. So if you're with someone who's amazing at first and it's like too good to be true and then like they suck a couple months later, that's the real them, just so you know. I think a lot of times the reason why women settle is because they think that nobody else could ever love them, that nobody else will want to be with them. Oh my God, girl, there are seven billion people on this planet. There are so many freaking people, okay? so for. Every loser that's out there, there's a freaking winner out there. There's a guy who's waiting for you to realize your worth, to realize what you deserve, and he's ready and willing to give that to you. So let that bum go, okay? Let him go. If he's not treating you like a queen, let his ass go. Bye, boy, bye, okay? Adios. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, okay, all right. Ba back to what we were talking about. Once you know your worth, you'll know what you bring to the table and that means not being afraid to eat alone. It is so much better to be alone than to be settling, than to be surrounding yourself with fake friendships, than to be surrounding yourself with people who aren't at your level, who aren't trying to level up. If they're not up here, they're trying to get up here, you know what I mean? I feel like knowing your value is kind of like leveling up in a video game, you know what I mean? Like, like you reach a new level once you know what you're about, once you know what you're worth. So now that you know your self-worth and you know what you're about, girl, hey, let's talk about how people are going to react to it, okay? Other queens are going to be so happy for you. They're going to love you. They're going to praise you. They're going to be like, yes, girl, get it, hey. But there will be those who are not happy for you. There will be those who are like upset with you. Like, what are you doing? Do you think you're better than us? kind of attitude, you know what I mean? Like, they're not gonna be happy for you, not everyone's gonna be happy for you, again, that's okay. They don't know their self-worth, so they don't know that they can be up here too. So when you come up here, you're leaving them down here, they're like, what the fuck? You think you're better than us? You think you can make more money than us? You're trying to like, leave us? They might get scared, they might be intimidated, they might feel bad. They might feel like you're saying that they're not good enough, when all you're doing is saying, I wanna be better. I know what I'm about, I know what I can do, and I know what I deserve, okay? So when that happens, don't take any offense to it. I promise you, you will encounter that, and you just gotta, you just gotta shrug it off. It's just about self-love and knowing what you're worth and knowing your value, and some people, they can't deal with that, and if they can't deal, then they can't hang, so. You'll make new friendships, trust me. It'll hurt a little bit, but you'll be all right. Alright guys, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below so you can be notified of when I make new videos. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. Um, because I'm always like looking for ideas and I really do listen to what you guys say. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!